On the 28th of December, the Ulster Canal branch of the Inland Waterways organised a walk on the Ulster Canal Greenway through Monaghan Town. A group of about 30 walkers attended for the 4.5 kilometre walk. Chris McCarney provided the walkers with details of the canal's history. The canal stretches 46 miles from Wattle Bridge on the River Finn to Charlemont on the River Blackwater. The route brought the walkers through a combination of rural and urban landscape. When it was planned in 1815, it was seen as a vital link between Loch Ney and the western counties of Fermanagh, Donegal and Loch Erne. It would provide Ireland with an integrated water network stretching from Coleraine, Belfast and Newry in the north to Limerick, Dublin and Waterford in the south. A number of the 26 locks built for the canal could be seen on the walk. The locks vary in dimension at 62 feet long and 12 feet wide to as little as 11 feet 8 on the western side. The canal was built by the leading engineer William Dargan. He won the contract to build the Ulster Canal and up to 2,000 men were employed. Evidence of Dargan's fine work can be seen here at the Monaghan Canal store. Unfortunately, by the time the canal had opened in 1841, the world had moved on. Better roads and new railways meant that the quantity of goods and freight expected by canal company never materialised. After 1860, the canal declined steadily and in 1931, 90 years after it opened, the Ulster Canal was closed. In 2016, a group of volunteers got together and formed the Ulster Canal Inland Waterways Association. The aims of the branch are to lobby government to commit funding for the reopening of the Ulster Canal. The very pleasant walk concluded at the Moving On installation on the western side of the town. For more information, please contact Ulster Canal at iwai.ie. The story of the Ulster Canal is told in this superb book by Brian Cassells. <laughs>